हेलो एवरीबडी दिस इज डॉक्टर सतीश पवार सीनियर सर्जिकल ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट केयर हॉस्पिटल हैदराबाद टुडे लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट कॉमनली डिस्कस्ड थिंग दैट इज डाइट इन कैंसर पेशेंट्स सो ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द पेशेंट्स डू आस्क अस ड्यूरिंग एंड आफ्टर देयर ट्रीटमेंट बी इट कीमोथेरेपी रेडिएशन और सर्जरी दैट व्हाट डाइट शुड दे हैव एंड व्हाट शुडंट बी ईटन और व्हाट शुड बी अवॉइडेड basically diet in cancer is very necessary to maintain your energy levels boost your immunity reduce your side effects of the treatment and then keep yourself healthy during and after treatment and maintain your weight so generally what happens is the treatment in cancer definitely is a treatment which is harsh and this affects even your appetite and there are changes at the cellular level as well so to curb this you need to maintain and eat good food what can be eaten is the answer the simple answer would be to have a diet that suits you that means we should all the the diet should contain the the calorie requirement for your body that is enough number of carbohydrates proteins and essential fatty acids should be definitely consumed so basically if you take a lot of vegetables should be added to your diet so that the fiber content increases and many people during and after treatment have certain symptoms like nausea vomiting diarrhea constipation so to curb all these symptoms you need to add make certain changes to your diet that is you should consume more of water to avoid constipation you need to have fruits and vegetables that are rich in potassium such as banana and you need to consume say for example you are having a lot of diarrhea you need to have a lot of buttermilk and consume the the products which will give more amount of sodium and potassium in your these are the electrolytes that you lose during diarrhea that you need to replenish them apart from that the major misconcept what people have is that during the discussions we come across that the amount of sugar or the carbohydrates you consume will be eaten away by the cancer cells that's a very wrong concept your body needs a lot of energy during this time that's why you need to definitely consume enough carbohydrates it really gets difficult to convince patients but this is a fact and it's the truth and apart from that definitely to boost your energy to boost your immunity you need to have omega 3 fatty acids that is rich the food foods rich in omega 3 uh, fatty acids that is consume a lot of walnuts and chia seeds etc so apart from that you to increase your protein levels in the body you can have a lot of options legumes uh, sprouts and all and if at all you are a non vegetarian you can add lean meat to your diet that is you can consume eggs you can consume chicken or fish avoid any meat which you know is difficult to digest such as mutton or beef or etc and apart from that there is a lot of changes that is inflammatory process that goes uh, on in your body due to various uh, chemotherapy drugs or due to radiation so to reduce all the inflammation in the gut as well keep eating like as in you you cannot have three definite meals that a normal person has you can divide your the meals into six and have small small amount of meals that is frequent small frequent meals is what we generally advise so that you know you don't feel that fullness as well and your dietary requirement or the nutrition is also maintained so in short consume what can be you know what 
is palatable to your mouth and you should make small small changes so that you know you can consume it and maintain your nutrition apart from that if you are not able to have a normal soft or regular diet then you can have a lot of fresh juices and you can have uh, even vegetable juices for example ca carrot cucumber you can add various things to it and consume uh, the calorie content is met and you can consume all this which you know in turn adds a lot of fiber uh, to your diet and your weight uh, is maintained and your energy levels are good to take any form of treatment coming to misconceptions there are a lot of misconceptions that go on you know in the discussions with the patient or the relatives that you shouldn't you should avoid uh, especially after surgery saying that you know few people say that uh, rice is not good few people, people say that the pulses are not good these are all misconceptions that pulses means papulu so these are all general misconceptions which uh, you know should be uh, definitely uh, avoided in the discussion so that you know what happens is the, the patient himself or herself gets a lot confused and doesn't even know what uh, really has to be uh, consumed and one more major misconception uh, is that uh, people who are uh, basically vegetarian they uh, you know the relatives force them to change to a non vegetarian diet which is not at all necessary you should make certain changes so that you can add a lot of in the protein requirement is met you can add a lot of legumes uh, and a lot of pulses into your diet so that you know these the changes are made and you can meet the protein requirement of your body thank you very much